Hello everyone and welcome to a new London vlog. So today, as you can see, I'm all dressed up. I did my hair, makeup this morning and that's because I've been invited to a photo studio not far from me in Hackney. It's like a black and white photo shoot. So I'm super excited to see how it works. And also after that, I will be walking around the area. So we'll be showing you as always some nice spots in London. So let's just go. <laughs> While I was looking up the address, I found out that it's actually a self-portrait studio. You don't even need someone to take pictures of you. You are in control and I think this is amazing because I'm always like curious uh, how my pictures look like when someone takes them. But now I will actually see the result for myself. How brilliant is that? As you can see, I have arrived into very edgy Hackney week, very hipster, I would say. While I was going here, I missed my stop, so I had to uh, go and change the platforms again. So it was crazy because basically I get very easily distracted by my phone. But anyways, I arrived early. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run. Now I am out of the studio. It was really cool experience. Basically, they give you like a button, and you take pictures for yourself, and you see the results on a screen. And then you have 15 minutes to choose the best pictures that you want to print. You can also get a digital copy. So I've never been to anything like this before. It seems like a very interesting concept that I think people will enjoy. On my way now to the Victoria Park, if anyone watched my first video ever on this channel, it was about the Tower Hamlets area and about Victoria Park, so I feel super happy to go back to the area where I used to live. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. I have only the best memories with this park because if not Victoria Park, I have no idea how I would uh, survive multiple lockdowns in London, honestly. I spent uh, all of my free time between work uh, because as you know, in London, everything was closed uh, and it was just such a nice getaway. I'm so, so grateful I was living in this area during last year <laughs> and beginning of this one. As you can see, I'm back home now. I was planning to walk for a bit longer, but all of a sudden I felt super tired. So I decided to calm down, go home, relax, and I have a very great weekend ahead. So I will catch up with you very, very soon. Hello everyone and welcome to day two of this vlog. You won't believe what happened yesterday. My friend messaged me, Laura, this one is for you, hello. And she said that she has tickets to Yayomi Kusama exhibition in London. Guys, if you never heard of Yayomi Kusama, today I will show you. It's basically this famous, amazing installations from uh, Japanese artists. I think they're called Infinity Rooms. They're made out of mirrors and they look incredible. I was dreaming to go there. I was even like dreaming to go to Japan to see them. But this year they arrived to London and of course I was the first one to get into the online queue of 2000 people to get the tickets and I did not get them and I thought oh well maybe I will go to Japan one day and then my friend saves the day with this ticket that she won and I'm like oh my god I am going to see Yayomi Kusama I am so happy and I cannot wait to show it to you as well so let's go Now on my way to the exhibition, it will be right in the Tate Modern, one of my favorite, I mean my favorite modern art gallery in London. So it's right by the St. Paul's Cathedral, amazing views, very foggy day, my hair still looks okay, but not for long. <laughs> so I'm super, super excited, don't know what to expect. Never mind, I'll find someone like you.
go again Time is up and I'm calling up my friends Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder why So I am now on my way back home from the exhibition. It was something magical. They basically had a bit of information about the artist and then there was two infinity rooms. One of them was a chandelier one, huge chandelier that reflects in a lot of mirrors. Other one was amazing because, <laughs> oh my god, the wind! And the other, <laughs> oh no, oh no. And the other one was literally water on the floor and all of these lights that were changing colors and reflecting all the way around the room. Honestly, it's something that worth seeing live because it's really hard to describe. I did enjoy it a lot and now I want to go to Japan and see even more infinity rooms. me and St. Paul's Cathedral in the background. A very rare time in London actually when it's very very warm like summer warm but it's raining at the same time so that's why people are still dressed in jackets and stuff because you never know how the weather will change in five minutes but generally it's warm. <laughs> Anyways that was a very good uh, weather update from Xenia but <laughs> What I was about to say is that actually Euro is still happening. Probably when this vlog will be out, we'll find out whether England make it through or not to this uh, stage. But I hope so that they do and I hope Ukraine will be through as well. Very exciting times and as you know, some of it happening in Wembley Park. So there are lots of people traveling to see the game and we have warnings on YouTube as well. Like don't travel on the tube during those days because there are lots of fans. But, you know, people here are super excited about football and hopefully I can show you some places of how here people uh, support their teams as well, meaning they uh, hanging the flags on the houses and stuff like that. So we'll see if I can find something for you. So apparently Euro is a big deal here in UK because I see the signs everywhere, you know, the blue signs that have like Euro on it. Plus there are people standing in the uniform with the information signs. Not sure what is it for because Wembley is like the whole other way. From side to side to tell my travel come alive. Oh my god, you guys, forget about Euros. There is a huge bag on the river Thames. I'm not joking, a huge bag. What is that? <laughs> Can't wait the sun is shining if the sail was in full of so I was about to film this back and literally someone in the background said what a way to ruin a view <laughs> it's a cool advertising but really <laughs> you know, on the river saves I'm not sure how I feel about that telling me to leave Oh guys, I knew there's something going on and there's actually the whole Euro village in here where people watch football live in front of the Tower Bridge. How crazy is that? That is amazing. Let me show you around. So right now it's the Netherlands and Czech Republic are playing and the uh, score is still 0-0. I think Netherlands will go through. There are multiple activities in here too. People play football, people print t-shirts, lots of drinks and food. The atmosphere is just amazing. This street where I'm currently walking is actually very famous, like Instagram famous, because there are lots of bridges that connect um, two buildings, as you can see lots of bridges. People always take pictures in here and the results are always look very nice. <laughs> I don't know why there are bridges though, but it does look very different from anywhere else. Just a little tip, if you are traveling to London and you want to take pictures with Tower Bridge and you know how crowded it gets, just keep going further away across the road and just go on the other side. There is literally no one in here and you get amazing views so let me show you now there are also restaurants on this side too and maybe some people don't know about it
there is one more place that I want to show you, which is also football related. It's a place that I absolutely randomly discovered when there were other football matches. It's in Bermondsey and basically people are hanging lots and lots of flags to support England. I never seen so many flags in one place before. So I hope they're still there, by the way. I'm just in the area, so I thought I would just make a few extra steps there and show you. It's the place that I was telling you about. Like, try to count how many flags you can find. Even in Ukraine, I never seen anything like this before, so you definitely can feel the spirit. Right, I think it will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to subscribe not to miss new London adventures. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye!